I've been a trader for greater than four decades, hedge fund manager, and the founder of what I believe to be the very best options education website available today, www.optionsinfinity.com. We specialize in credit spreads, weeklies, monthlies, and leaps. Today's video is going to be about taking the fear out of weekly credit spreads. A lot of people can see that credit spreads are an advantageous trade, but they're afraid of big losses. And what I'm gonna show you today is a way to avoid that in the strategy that I use. Before I do that, I'm going to share with you that I believe credit spreads are the very best way to earn a consistent income. I'm going to show you the advantages of credit spreads, how time value decay of options, especially in the last two weeks, is really to our advantage because we are sellers of options. So the when you're when you're putting a credit spread on with out of the money options, the only value it has is time or intrinsic value. And that time value or the premium erodes very quickly as you get to the two week span. I'm gonna explain quickly what bull puts and bear calls are, and then how money is made with credit spread three ways. With a, with a straight call and put, it has to trade in the direction that you've chose, either bullish or bearish. But not only that, it has to do it within a certain time frame. So time is running against you. With credit spreads, time is running with you. Every day that goes by with a credit spread, the, the time value decayed. Um, increases the, the premium that goes into your bank account. If you set up a bull put, of course, we're going to go out of the money and you're going to get paid if the, if the um, price does go up, if it goes sideways, or if it goes slightly down. The only way you're going to lose is if you have a drastic drop, and I'm going to show you a way to get around that. First of all, let's take a look at the advantages of credit spreads. They give you great returns when coupled with probabilistic approach to price action. They can yield monthly income on a consistent basis. You're not gonna win all the time. You're gonna have losers. You're gonna have losing streaks. But in the long run, with a positive expectation trading strategy, you will have consistent income. They're high probability of success. We as credit spread sellers are selling premium, therefore time is in our favor. Time is money. One of the nice things about credit spreads is you don't have to constantly watch the market. You don't have to chart hawk. You don't have to, if you've got a job, if you've got uh, uh, other things going on in your life and you can only check, check the market a couple of times during the day, credit spreads are beautiful because they're not going to quickly move in one direction or another. Therefore, it's a low anxiety trade. And with a credit spread, because we are selling an option out of the money, but buying one further out of the money, we have protection against losses. Now, in this chart, what I'm showing you is that the as, as, as the options get closer and closer to expiration, the time value decays. This is commonly referred to as theta decay. And in the last 30 days, you have a rapid reduction, but in the last two weeks, it is almost exponential. 
So every day we're holding on to a weekly credit spread, time is working in our favor. You have protection from loss. Think of a vertical credit spread as simply selling one and buying one. You, you can make money on the one you sell called the short strike, but the potential loss can be unlimited. To protect against the unlimited loss, what you do is buy a long strike. The long strike makes you money when you pass that strike price. The difference between the two minus the credit is your maximum loss. So if you're putting on a weekly credit spread and you're choosing one that is a $5 strike price differential from the one from the option that you're selling, to the option that you're buying, the maximum loss you have is $5 times 100 units in a contract is $500. Let's say you bring in a dollar credit times 100 is $100. So the maximum loss is the $500 minus the credit that you're bringing in. So the margin requirement is going to be 500 minus 100 or $400. Let's take a quick look at a bear call spread. A bear call spread is an option strategy, which is bearish. Um, it's used when the decline in the price of the underlying asset is expected. It's achieved by selling a call option at a specific price and then buying the same number of calls at a higher price. This is the credit spread, okay? In this example, this was uh, SPX, uh, which is standard and poor 500, it's the big boy. It was put on uh, January 8th, 2021 when the SPX was sitting at 38.10. So what we did is we went out of the money and sold a 15 January 38.50 call and then bought a 15 January 38.55 call further out of the money. The, the sold strike brought in $4.15. The bought strike we had to pay $3, so the net credit is $1.15. With a bull put spread, what you're doing is this is a bullish strategy, and what you're doing is you're going down below and you are selling puts. It's a type of option strategy so that's used when investors expect a rise in the price of the underlying asset. This strategy is conducted by selling one put option and simultaneously buying another put option further out of the money. In this example, this was an SPX weekly, when the SPX was at 37.85, and this was January 19th, 2021, we sold the, the 29 January 38.10 put and bought the January 29 3805 put for protection to give us a net credit of $1.10. Now the three ways to win with a credit spread with the with the bear call option that I was showing you if if what you're what you're thinking is this is a bullish strategy so if this is put on and the and the price goes down you're a winner. If it goes sideways, like this one did for quite a while, you're a winner. If it goes slightly up, you're a winner. As long as it doesn't cross that sold strike price, it's the only time you can lose with a credit spread. And I'm going to show you how you can protect against that loss. So the biggest fear retail investors have with credit spreads are that you can be right most of the time and be making money. 
But if you're wrong one time or a couple times, it will wipe out all your winnings. An example of that is, let's say you're trading the SPX weekly credit spreads with a $5 strike uh, apart, okay? The credit spreads, let's say, are profitable 70% of the time. And you're bringing in a dollar, okay? Using this expected return per trade calculation, what we do is take 70% times bringing in a dollar times 100, $100, minus the 30% losers times 400, which is the $5 minus the credit. So this is the max loss. This is your average win. This is the max loss. That yields a $50 loss every time you make a trade if you have this kind of a setup. This is what scares people is this $400 loss with only a $100 gain. In order to be consistently profitable and take the fear out of this scenario, what we need to do is one, increase the probability of winning and decrease the loss amount. With the strategy I'm about to share with you, I did just that. Going back to our expected return per trade, I've increased the probability to 80% times the 100 minus 20%, and I've decreased the loss amount to $1.50. This yields a $50 plus per trade per contract. Okay, what, the, what does that mean? Well, if you have a $10,000 portfolio, you can trade 20 contracts. And a contract, um, so if you have 20 times the 50, and you make this um, on, on average, and 20% of the times you lose this, you are going to make consistently about $1,000 per trade. Yes, you're going to have losers. Yes, you're going to have losing streaks, but in the long run, you're consistently going to bring on $1,000 every time you make a trade. Let me go over that again. 80% 80 80 of the times you're going to win, and you're going to win uh, $100 the way we set it up. 20% of the time you're going to lose, and but you're only going to lose $150. Okay, so you're going to make $50 per trade per contract. Okay, so how do we increase the probability of winning from 70% to, to 80%? There's a couple things we do. First of all, we look at high probability trades based on support and resistance. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trade with the short-term trend. And there are three tools that I use. The regression channel, which is gonna show me when it's overbought, oversold. Measured moves, which confirm that what, what trend it is in, and then Fibonacci's that help me decide when that trend might be over. So let's take a look at high probability trades based on an 80% chance of winning. You can see this is a, an option chain, and you can see that the, the, the option we chose to sell was the 29 January 3910. Look at the probability of winning, 80%, okay? And the short one or the long one that we bought for protection, these are 80% probabilities, okay? So, so how do we get from 70 to 80? Well, the way we're gonna do that is to, to trade with the short-term trend. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the regression channel. The regression channel, the, the regression line is calculated by taking 50% of the price above and 50% of the price below to give you the regression line, and it goes every day. The green line is plus or minus one standard deviation, and the gold line is plus or minus two standard deviations.
based on the distribution of the bell curve, 68.2% of all prices will be contained within the plus or minus one standard deviation. 95.4% of all prices will be contained within the plus or minus two standard deviation. So let's go back to that previous slide. 95% of all prices will be contained within this plus or minus two standard deviation. Yeah, occasionally you're gonna get an outlier. Occasionally you're gonna get an outlier, but this is, think in terms of this, this regression line, you're like stretching a rubber band. And when you have an outlier, bam, it's gonna pull back. And so most times it's gonna overshoot and go in the other direction. Using this technology, we can determine whether, uh, whether the price is oversold, and that's a bullish position, or overbought, and that's a bearish position. And this is a chart that's, that's just two weeks in time, or 10 days, 10 trading days, and you see one, two, three, four opportunities to take advantage of the overbought, oversold condition. Now, once you have an overbought, oversold condition, to avoid having it be in a continued outlier, I'll wait most times for the price to revert back to the mean and for it to make a measured move. If a bullish measured move, what you have is the price going from A to a higher point at B, then retracing to C, then making a higher high once it crosses the price of B all the way up to D. And basically what this is, is it, it's a higher, higher high and a higher low. And that is the classic definition of an uptrend. When the price makes a measured move, you stay with it. And this is a bullish trend. As long as it continues to have higher highs and higher lows, you have a bullish condition. Just the opposite is true if you have a bearish measured move. Bearish measured move, the price comes down, then it reverts back up but not, not above the A point, and then it comes down and makes a lower low. So it had a lower high right here at C and a lower low. This is a bearish measure move. And this will have a bearish trend as long as it continue, continues to have bearish measured moves. Now, once you have a measured move, you can put on Fibonacci extensions. Fibonacci um, first developed a number sequence where he had, if you, if you add the previous number to the current number, it'll give you the next number in line. And then mathematicians took the square and the square root of that and then took reciprocals. And those are used to determine when a trade, when a price might be a little bit overextended. I've been using Fibonacci's for many years. And doesn't it make sense that Fibonacci's are so accurate because, because Fibonacci's are seen with throughout nature. Uh, the, the, the human bones grow in proportion to the Fibonacci golden ratio and, and the stock market is fueled by human nature with fear and greed, and Fibonacci's measures that. So if you have a measured move to the upside, and it does make a nice move up to the 261, you know, hey, it's probably maybe, you know, probably maybe overextended, and it might be time for it to revert back to the mean. It's a very powerful tool. With those three tools, with the regression channel, with the major moves, and with the Fibonacci's, I'm able to 
increase the probability of being correct from 70 to 80 percent. This is a recent chart, uh, a 10 day chart of the SPX 30 minute chart. And what you can see is this was an outlier below the minus two, came up, pulled back, which made a higher low. Then it made a higher high right here, and it continued to move up. This is a great position to put on a bull put spread. Then it made a measured move to the downside and came down to the minus one on the regression channel. This is a great position to put on a bear call. Then we come over here and it makes a measured move to the upside. And this one extends all the way to the 261. And this is currently where we're at today. And I just put on a bear call trade yesterday. And today I'm already up 50% of the profit that I can take. The combination of the regression channel the measured moves and the Fibonacci's is a very powerful combination to help increase your probability of success. So we're complete by using those three tools. So the next thing we wanna look at is how can we decrease the loss amount from the $500 margin minus the $100 credit or $400, how can we decrease that to $250? Option theory tells us that if we close a credit spread right at the strike price, the loss will be half the spread or $250 for a $5 spread. In other words, we're closing it at the money and at the money has a delta of almost 0.5. And you can see right here that, it, that we can get out at about $2 or $2.50 based on option theory. So what I wanna do is when I put the trade in, Shortly thereafter, I want to go into the trading platform and I want to put a stop limit order to close at half the margin of $2.50. And I usually put five cents in there to just so it's not a, an even number. And now basically what's going to happen is if the trade goes against us, and is close to the strike price of the short option, we will be out of the trade losing $2.50 minus the credit that we brought in or $150. Therefore, this is complete. We've decreased the loss amount down to 250 but it's going to be 250 minus the hundred dollars credit or 150. so the expected results for a ten thousand dollar portfolio would be 80 percent now times the hundred dollars minus 20 percent times the 150 max loss 80 minus 30 is now going to be a positive $50 per trade per contract. What does that mean? The SPX weekly at a $5 spread and a dollar credit per contract is going to be $400 margin requirement per contract. Uh, for a $10,000 portfolio divided by that margin means you can make 25 contracts per trade. 25 contracts per trade times $50 per trade per contract is $1,250 per trade. We usually have 
about 30 trades per year. And on the website, what I do is I release these to my members. I send out alerts uh, exactly how to put, get into a credit spread and then how to get out of the credit spread. And there's usually about 30 trades per year. If we got 1,250 times 30, that's going to give you 3,700, 37,500 profit per year or 375 profit return on margin. Now, this is based on what I can do. Past performances are no guarantee of the future. It's going to take you a while to learn the strategy. It's an easy strategy. It's very easy. But mastering the strategy is the tough part of this. The strategy I just disclosed to you has a positive expectation. It is the keys to success. However, however, to become a real successful trader, you're going to need a mentor. You're going to need somebody that's done this before. If you look at any professional out there, any professional basketball player, a professional golfer, they all have a coach. They all have a mentor. They all have somebody that's done it before. They're teaching them. They're watching them. They're helping them with any, any mistakes they're making. Um, I would be honored to be your mentor and lead you to success in trading using the strategy I just explained. As one of my mentees says, I believe that management of the trade is what separates the winners from the losers. That is why only a small percentage of traders are profitable. They grasp the trading. Well, once again, the training is, is very simple. It's very straightforward. But they don't grasp the ability to manage the trade and manage their emotions. Two key ingredients. My once a week webinars focus on the management and the execution of the trade. So, so with, with, the, um, with the website, I'm, I'm basically showing you how I'm trading. You're looking over my shoulder. I'm giving you my trades so you can earn while you're learning. And this is the last two years, my equity curve for 2019 and 2020 return on margin close to 600 percent return on margin and you can see yeah we have some losers we have some losing streaks but 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 we have a positive equity curve and that's what you're looking for that's what you're looking for so if you'd like me to be your mentor what i'd like you to do is go to www.optionsinfinity.com We've been in business publicly for 10 years. Over 10 years, I've, I've released 752 trades, of which 78% have been profitable. It's kind of unheard of in the business. But the advantages of this is, is not only are you going to get my trades when I release them with either a text or email alert, but you're going to get the entire master class series where I'm going to show you exactly how I trade the weeklies, exactly how I trade the monthlies and the leaps, how you can use this to trade Forex. Plus four times a month, every Tuesday at noon Eastern time, we get together and what I do is review all the current trades. I give you a little lesson. We talk about managing the trades. We talk about managing your emotions. There's plenty of time for Q&A. Okay. And these are always recorded and posted on the website so you can look at them later. So what I'd like you to do is uh, check out the website, www.optionsinfinity.com. And please join me. Bye-bye now. I hope you enjoyed this video.